welcome back everyone to another video tutorial in our series on making a 2D platformer game in Unity. This is my page with scriptingisfun.com and in this video we're going to be adding in our uh, laser beam attacks. So last video we added in the animations. In this video when we trigger the animation and we are triggering the animation that has the laser gun in it, the blaster pistol, uh, we will use an animation event to call a function in the script and instantiate the laser bolt and send it on its way. So let's jump right on in the Unity and get going. So as a review, as we play the game right now, uh, we have three different animation states that we're playing. We have the unarmed, we have the gun state here, and we push our attack key for the gun state. We, f we uh, fire, at least we do the animation, and then we have uh, a sword as well that has an animation that plays. So in this video we're going to be looking at adding in the laser shooting instead of just the laser animation. So we're going to just take this one step at a time. Let's go into the player script. In the player script right now when we uh, push the fire one button here we are setting our animation trigger uh, the attack trigger, which is then calling that animation in the animation controller. It's starting to play the animation. We're going to have that animation then have an animation event in it that will call another function in our script here, which will instantiate the laser beam and shoot it off on its way. So let's uh, take a look at how we're going to do that. First of all, let's set up that function that we want to call. So we'll go down here to the bottom, somewhere here, and let's do a void, we'll call this laser attack. And what laser attack is going to need to do is instantiate a laser beam. So let's go ahead and set up our laser beam and a variable for it. So back up at the top of our script here, let's put in a game object variable. We'll call this laser beam. And we're going to make one of those out in Unity and we'll assign it in here. All right, so let's go out to Unity and do that. So we're going to bring in some sprites here that we can choose from for lasers. So I just imported this sprite sheet here uh, for a bunch of beams, different laser beams that can be used. This is actually a free uh, sprite sheet that you can get online. See the comments for a link that will get you to this uh, sprite sheet full of laser beams. I'll link it there in the comments for you. We're going to go ahead, now that we've dragged it in here and imported it, we're going to slice it. So there are multiple sprites in the sprite sheet, so I have to change sprite mode from single to multiple. And then I'm going to hit apply. And then we're going to go to our sprite editor. And then we can actually slice these. We'll go to slice. We'll just do automatic slicing because they don't lay out in any kind of a grid. They're all different sizes and we'll slice it up. So now that I've done that, you can see that they all have their own little box around them that they've been sliced up into. So they should be good to go. We'll hit apply. And then we can close our sprite editor here. And then let's find a, a laser beam here that we want to use. So I might just get one of these little circular ones here because we don't have to worry about which way they're facing that way. So maybe we'll just see if we get one of these green ones here. So I'm going to pull a green one out here into the scene just to see how big it is next to my player. That actually doesn't look like a bad size for a beam to shoot out. So we will go ahead and use that one. You're free to use whichever one you like out of the different ones that are available. I'm just going to call this my laser. And then uh, for now, let's just make it so that this laser can be created. Uh, and then we will also have this laser move itself once it's on the screen here. So we will add a script here real quick. So let's go to our scripts folder. Let's right click in there. Let's create 
a C sharp script, we'll call this our laser script. And let's attach that to our laser out here in the scene. So now it has the script. And let's go ahead and do a little work in this laser script here. So in Visual Studio, we have our laser script open. Uh, what we want to do here is move this laser just right down the screen here, left or right, when we shoot. So let's make a variable up at the top here, first of all, called speed. And then in the update function, let's do a transform.translate. And then let's give it a vector two dot right so it just moves it on the x-axis and then we'll take that times our time dot delta time and we'll take that times that speed variable that we made so that will make us move over time instead of frame rate and we can control speed through speed so let's go ahead and save this and then let's go back out to unity and if we click on our laser and go over here and give him a speed that say maybe a five and hit play so i'm going to hit pause first so it doesn't just race off on me right away and we hit play then and then we let it go you'll see that the laser beam just goes on down the screen now you might notice that it's going behind things so let's just run it again real quick and it went behind all the trees in that so let's make sure our laser is in the right layer so we want to give it its sorting layer let's go ahead and put that in the foreground so it should be in front of everything else and then if we hit play it should just zip right in front of these bushes here and there it goes and it travels in front of everything that way so our laser is set up a speed of five seems to be okay for the moment let's go ahead and make this laser a prefab so let's just grab it and drag it into our prefabs folder so it's all ready to go and let's take it out of the scene here so let's delete it out of our hierarchy so we don't want a laser just randomly going off when the game starts all right so we have our laser it can move now let's go in and, and set it up for instantiating so let's go back into our player script okay so we have uh we need to make this a public variable up here by the way for laser beam so public game object laser beam let's go down to our function that's going to make a laser beam and let's use our instantiate command we'll instantiate a laser beam let's go ahead and put it right where the player is so transform dot position and let's give it the transform dot rotation of the player and let's just see what that does. Let's go out into Unity now and let's set up the animation event that we'll call our laser attack script here. Let's go to our player. Let's go load in his animator that has the gun. So let's equip that to his controller. Then let's go down to the animation window and let's find gun attack. And then what we want to do here is we want to put in here an animation event. So what we can do is just right click somewhere in this gray bar right here and add an animation event. And then for the event, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go up here because once you click on it in this blue, go up here into the inspector and let's just select the laser attack as the function we want it to call. And then let's save our scene by doing Control S so we don't lose that change. Okay, now that we've got the animation event in there, let's just make sure we actually gave the player the prefab for the laser. And note right here, laser beam, we haven't given him the prefab yet, so let's drag that in there so he's got it. And then let's try playing and see if we can actually get a laser beam to shoot. All right, let's hit our attack key. And there goes a laser beam. Doesn't look like it's going out of the end of his gun. And if I turn the other way here and I hit my attack button, you notice the laser beam is still traveling to the right. So we're going to have to make a few adjustments here. First of all, to the position where the laser is being uh, instantiated to. And then to the direction that the laser is moving as we uh, go through here. 
Okay, so let's do it like this. To the player, we're going to add a couple of empty game objects that are going to be um, used for positioning where the laser bolts come out at. So let's right click on our player in the hierarchy and then this create empty and this call this let's call this laser position right so let's call it right like that and then let's get our move tool so that we can kind of see where that is here and we'll make our scene view a little bigger so we can see it and then let's drag this out here a little bit to the side here, maybe down slightly so it's kind of even with the shoulder and where the end of the gun might be when we get to that laser attack animation. And then let's go ahead and duplicate this because we need one on the left side as well. So I'm just going to right click it and duplicate it. Let's change its name here to laser position left. So let's put LF there for left. And then let's drag that one over here to the other side somewhere in here. So now we have right and left. We're going to go ahead and save those changes here and then let's go into the script and we're going to have to have a link to those two positions so we know which way or which one to instantiate to. So let's just put those up here. The public transform laser position right and let's do another one public transform laser position left and then we can save that now we're also going to have to be able to tell if we are facing left or right when we fire a uh, laser beam as well so we're also going to need another variable in here for keeping track of that now. So we'll make it public for now so we can see it in the inspector, but it doesn't really need to be in this case. And this is just going to be a bool, and we'll just call it facing right. So if this bool is true, we're facing right. If it's not true, then we're facing to the left. So now that we have these three variables, we can put the logic together that we need to make our laser beams work correctly. So first thing we have to do is make sure that we are adjusting our facing right and facing left based off of our inputs. So let's look where our inputs are being updated. And we can do this right here for we're flipping the sprite to face the direction he is moving. So if our horizontal input is greater then a point one, then we determined that we were facing to the right. So we weren't flipping our character. So here we can put our facing right equal to true. And then down here, if we are a negative input, we're moving left. So our facing right would be equal to false here. So we're just adding a, another Boolean here to flip. I suppose we could have saved ourselves the variable and we could have just read the, the value in the sprite render of flip x as well, uh, but this way you can kind of see how it works a little bit better. So now we'll know if we're facing right or left based off of our input. So if we push the left key or the right key, uh, the last. Then when we're instantiating our laser, so down here in laser attack, before we instantiate, let's check to see which way we are facing. So we'll say if facing right, which means that if we are facing right, if that is true, I'm just going to go ahead and cut and paste this line right here. Now, if we're facing to the right, then it's going to move the correct direction, but instead of putting it at transform.position, let's put it at laser position right, because we're going to be shooting to the right. That's a transform, so we're going to say dot position. So we'll instantiate this, not at the player's position, which is the center of him, but at this empty game object that we made a child of the player uh, on the right side. So if he's not facing right, let's do an else. And in the else, we're going to go ahead and copy this command here. Um, we're going to instantiate a laser beam, but this time we want it to go to laser position left. And 
instead of transform uh, rotation, the rotation is going to control which way the laser moves. We actually want to reverse the rotation of the laser. So we're going to have to build a new rotation here. So we're going to have to change this rotation here. And we're going to use a quaternion. I'm going to say quaternion dot Euler. Okay, then we're going to just go ahead and give it an x, y, z amount to rotate in degrees. So 0 degrees on the x, 0 on the y, but 180 on the z. And then we'll just put in our closing parentheses there, and we should be all set. So let's see if we got this rotation correctly uh, put in. So let's save. we got to go back out into Unity and make sure we tie in all those variables we just made. So in the player, again, let's go tie in the position right and position left. So we'll take laser position right and put it to laser position right. We'll put laser position left and put it in laser position left. And you see facing right here is um, set the faults when the game starts. So when the game starts, he actually is going to be facing to the right. So we might want to just put that in the start function. So let's save our changes out here, jump right back into the script real quick. Up here in the start function for the player, let's go ahead and set that. So we'll say facing right equals true so that we can make sure that if we don't move before we fire that it actually uh, does fire the correct direction. All right, let's go test this out in Unity. Okay, if we didn't miss anything here, we should be able to shoot left and right now. So let's take a look at how this is working. Okay, so I'm just going to shoot while I'm facing to the right. And there we go, it shot to the right. Let's look to see where it's putting that bolt. And I think that looks pretty good for the positioning. Let's go to the left here now and let's fire. And there we go. Now it looks like it's firing that, uh, it's instantiating the laser bolt a little far away. So let's go to our position on the left and let's drag it in a little closer here. And then we'll just try again, see if it looks a little better. Yeah, I think that looks a little better. And you can see now that we can also, we can also jump and shoot and it'll just shoot from wherever. And that works in both ways as well. So it looks like we've got ourselves jumping and shooting and shooting both directions here. All right, and that's using an animation event and then just some game logic here to get our laser and stanching on the right side of the player and uh, moving in the correct direction. So I think that's where we're going to end this one here today. Um, we have our laser bolts being instantiated in the correct spot. We've got them moving in the correct direction and we used another animation event in our attack. So now if I'm in range and I attack I get my laser being made. If I go back to my unarmed and I try to attack I still get my message that I put in here saying that I'm unarmed and can't attack. Alright so in the next video we will probably handle what happens with the sword here and attacking and seeing if we can get that attack to register uh, when we hit something, and then we'll also work on damaging the enemy, where the enemy can actually take some damage. Okay, so I hope you uh, were able to follow along with that okay today. So again, what we are doing is we are using our animation to launch an event, which calls a function in our script that tells us it's time to instantiate a laser bolt. So uh, kind of a fun way to do this and, and doing it this way will allow us to have three different ways of attacking with the different animations and calling different uh, functions whenever we do that. So we now have our laser bolts um, being instantiated on the left or the right side of the player in a spot that looks right for where the gun is and moving in the correct direction. So hope you're finding this helpful and that you've been enjoying the series as much as I've been enjoying putting it on. As always, please leave any questions in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer those as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next installment. Have a great day.